Well, I did marry a tool, and this is where <laughs> I put my tools, honey. Okay. Those are things that you build stuff with. <laughs> <laughs> Happy and good Sunday morning, everybody. You guys, I just had to share this with you. We had a nice dumping of snow last night into this morning. When I woke up, I had an early church meeting that I forgot about, so I had to rush off to that, and I thought, when I get home, I need to shovel the walks. And when I got home from that meeting, you guys, take a look at this, check this out. Someone had already shoveled them for me. So we have a random stranger doing random act of kindness. A neighbor has come through and shoveled those walks while I was at my meeting. So thank you to our amazing neighbors. I love this neighborhood. I love that we do that for each other. You'll just randomly see your driveway shoveled sometimes. I like to go around and randomly shovel people's driveways and have them not know who did it. It's kind of fun. But I love where we live and I love this neighborhood. Now, back to the snow. I'm going to take my drone up, the new Mavic Air. We're going to take it up into those snow clouds just over the mountains and see how it handles in those wet, snowy, cold weather conditions. So, fingers crossed. I wish I would have had the camera rolling on me during that flight because I almost lost that drone probably 10 times. It went up there, tried to get a shot of the top of the mountain, the screen went black, no communication to the drone. I need to figure out what was going on there, if it was a my fault issue or if there's something wrong with the drone. I hit the return to home function, it wouldn't respond, it wasn't coming home, battery starting to die, mild panic, I got the shot. I mean, those shots are just epic and gorgeous. Nearly lost the drone. I actually did not even physically see it. There was no transmission of the image. I could just hear it, so I knew it had responded and came home. And eventually Eventually, it came down out of the clouds and I looked up and saw it there, but still, no video feed, flying blind. That was nuts, you guys. The things we do to bring you that epic aerial footage. Now, I'm back here with the kids. We're in the toy room on a Sunday, just kind of keeping it pretty chill. We got church coming up in a minute. Toy room number one. Is this number one or two? In fact, we got to give you an update on toy room downstairs because mom's got that looking so nice with her craft stuff. The craft stuff's all organized. The toy room's all organized. It's looking fantastic. This one could use a little cleaning, but we're actually in it. We're playing in it. We're having a good time. So, Kirby, dude, what are you making over here, bro? You've been playing with some Legos um, this morning? I just grabbed out a couple of Legos there on this bin and tried to make a spaceship. Dude, it's massive. That looks like, I was telling Kruby this earlier, that looks like it could be like in Thor Ragnarok or something like that. It looks like that. It's huge and like so detailed. Look at that thing, dude. That's a beast. And then when you put it on there, it just comes. Oh my gosh, dude. Look at that. All the different levels. I love your guys' creativity, bro. Like I love how you guys can just come up here, grab a whole bunch of Legos and turn it into something. No instructions. It's like a master builder. Like, no instructions. You just grab stuff and build it. <laughs> Love you, dude. Brexy Doodle, what are you working on over here, my man? Getting bullets in here. Getting bullets in here? <laughs> Earlier I asked him what he was working on, and he said making a mess. That's what he's working on. And then he was like, just kidding. Then he's like, just kidding. And then I looked around, and I'm like, no, you're not. And Rai Guy, I don't even know if he can hear us. He's jamming out to some show tunes over here. Rai Guy, what are you working on, bro? I'm working on Ray Balloon. I already made one this morning. Oh, show me this one, dude. Hey, check out your, is that your, from your way, had your stuff removed, your bumps removed? Uh, that, that is, that is from falling off my skateboard. Oh, that's that, pretty boss. That's from my bumps. Oh, okay, so the new one's the skateboard one. All and right, tell me about this, bro. This one is legit. So, that is thick, it has dude. two bands on every single one. It's technically this, except you put one more band on and combine them. And my cousin has the exact same one, and so they're like, kind of like cousin bracelets. Dude, that is rad. So you guys both have these double thick ones and I like how you made it extra long because sometimes you guys stop short and then it's like so tight on your wrist it's like cutting off your circulation but you went the distance on that one bro looking good <laughs> Rex, oh, you got me in the face. Rex, I yield. I surrender. Rex, and I surrender. Do you know what that means? Guys, who else has a Lego band that looks like this? This is the combination of, I mean, look how deep this thing is. And it's completely full. This is just a combination of all these different things that get built. And then over time, they get wrecked and they end up in here. But I like that the creativity. <laughs> because of Rex. Oh, and one thing. There's another bucket full of Legos. So we have a few Legos. But what I like is that you guys still use your creativity creativity and you still build cool stuff like you don't just let them sit there and it's like oh I don't have the instructions there's not a complete set so I can't do it you guys will actually pick up a bunch of random Legos and then turn it into something cool and then turn it into bricks and bricks <laughs> oh shoot watch out guys <laughs> No wait, Dad, that hurts. Seriously hurts. I'm just gonna sit there. Oh my gosh. No more, no more, no more, no more. That one's scary. One more. Okay, one more. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ja. Ja. Hey everyone, we are home from church. I was like, what do I wanna make? What do I wanna make? I can't decide. So you guys, I have decided to make an easy banana cream pie trifle. Let me show you what's in this recipe. These, for me, you guys, these are like heaven to me. These are all of our ingredients. We've got bananas, you need four of them. Cool Whip, milk, two packages of vanilla instant pudding. You guys, I've seen several recipes that include this, so I am going to put this in and see how it makes it taste. I've also got this. Have you guys ever seen one of these? Is this like totally weirdly cool? It's amazing for slicing bananas, so I'll show how this works. So one thing I want to say is this kind of bowl is really pretty to serve this dessert in because you get to see all the different layers. I don't have a clear trifle dish. So this one's actually really cool because you can make it into a punch bowl. Also, another thing you can do with it, turn it upside down and it's a cake stand. That's also something cool to do with it, but this time I'm using it as a trifle dish. So the way you make this is you're going to combine two of your boxes of Jello. You need two cups of milk per box. So that would be four cups of milk total. I'm gonna do a trick here. This is where I'm going to incorporate the sweetened condensed milk. I'm gonna do three cups of milk and the sweetened condensed milk. Let's give it a try. Now that this is all mixed up, I'm gonna let it sit for a few minutes to get a little bit thicker. I have asked dad to come help me in the kitchen. Lorna Dunes will always mean one thing to me. This is the snack that I eat while we're at the hospital and then just having babies. I don't know. No. Are you trying to tell me something? Nope, sure not. <laughs> I can't even hear the word Lorna Dune. That's two words, I think, without thinking about being in the hospital and Mindy having babies. I love Lorna Dunes. I could live on them. But you know what? I'm convinced, B. Do Lorna Dunes taste the same in the hospital as they do out of the hospital? I can confirm now. Hospital ones just taste different. I don't know if it's because. I feel like we like... bought these ones before, or had them on an airplane, and they don't taste the same. It's not the same. So he's going to sit here and open these all for me, and I'm going to start slicing bananas. All right, you guys, I'm going to show you this really cool trick. I went to a food truck one time, and I saw this cool device, and I knew I had to have one. I bought it on Amazon for like six bucks. So you guys, what you do is you slide the banana, you slide the banana in here, just like this. Look, perfect slices. See all those perfect slices? That had to be a waffle truck. It was totally a, a waffle truck. I know. I'm just gonna go through and slice, woohoo! Maybe I did it this way. I'm just gonna go through and slice these. That's definitely what you should do. Aim it down, people. And I don't have to sit here and waste all this time slicing a banana. That is awesome. Isn't it great? <laughs> Go time. Okay, you guys, so now that this has gotten a little bit stiffer, a little bit thicker, now it's time to add in 12 ounces of Cool Whip. Okay, one thing I learned, maybe they do at your store, but they don't at mine. They only sell eight or 16 ounces of Cool Whip. Basically, just use like two thirds of this container. Okay, okay. All right, we're gonna put it in, and then we're just gonna fold it in. You don't wanna go crazy mixing it. You wanna fold, people. Old. More like a t-shirt or more like a pair of pants? So one thing I wanted to tell you that I did with this recipe is I didn't use banana pudding. I used vanilla because some people don't like the flavor of artificial banana. My dad being one of those, I decided to make this with vanilla pudding. So he's okay with real bananas, but just not fake banana flavor. Yeah, it's like the cotton candy flavor or artificial cotton candy flavor. Like uh -huh. our drinks yesterday were artificial. Really good. Very good. <laughs> so we're just gonna make this into a yummy. Just fold it in. Just fold, fold it, it in. in. Just fold it in. Just tap it in. Just tap it in. Give it a little tappy. Tap, tap, tap a roo. Guys, mom's having a good time after church Because today. I know I get to eat this. <laughs> okay, I think, yeah, that'll put you in a good mood. I think that's about it. So now I'm gonna show you how to assemble it. It's fairly easy, and try not to lick your fingers too much. Cheek. That's okay. <laughs> now that it's finished, I'm gonna just cover it with some saran wrap and I'm gonna stick it in the fridge like 30 minutes or so until we eat it. And then it will be nice and chilled. It's gonna be yummy. And you ended up using the rest of that whipped cream. I did. Good uh, yeah. cool whip. So the recipe didn't say that, but I just went ahead and put it on top just to make it look pretty. It is now officially Sunday night. The weekend has come to an end. Now that dessert was delicious. Mom. Okay. Huge so success. Sometimes I make stuff and I'm like, yeah, it's pretty good, but this one was like, I feel like I hit it out of the park a little bit. Can I tell you what Not I think the secret was? Not that to do with me. Well, yeah, there is one secret ingredient. Yes, the sweetened condensed milk. Mm -hmm. I think that was the trick. Like, I think it would've been fine. Normally I've had things yeah, like that, but that good. really made it extra. Yeah, I really like that dessert, so I will be putting that on the blog tonight. If I were to make a recommendation, I do think it would've been better with banana pudding. I do too. You could do one banana box and one vanilla box. Ooh. 
no. Lots of way to please everybody. <laughs> Speaking of pleasing everybody, mom is very pleased with the way this craft room has turned out. So we wanted to give you guys an update on that and the organization of this toy room. It's all now officially built. She's moved in. So Mitty, take I it know. away. I know. Okay. Pretend this is covered. I have like a <laughs> Thing. I just haven't gone out in the garage and installed it. You guys, I want to get like a cute little chair for here. We have a chair, it's just not super cute. That's why we didn't put it there. Well, it's, it's an old kitchen chair. Here's the problem, like when we moved into this house, I was like, yes, we're so great to have like the play mat, the floor. Yeah, I'm not so excited about that all of a sudden. I like it. It's nice, but it's not like- Hey, it's my old man slippers. My old woman slippers with flingos. <laughs> like a cute chair. So in here- Ooh, okay, look at this, who built this? Ooh, wow, yeah. somebody with some serious craftsman skills. I seriously love this. But this just has like a few like little things in here. Nothing much, obviously. This next drawer. <gasps> These the are stamp. all of my circle punches and square punches. I actually thought about putting like the gripper liner. Oh yeah, so they don't So slide. that it doesn't slide everywhere. Yeah, not a bad idea. Right here, this is all my twine. And I love these little like paper baggies. They're so cute. What do I have in this next one? I'm not sure. Oh, Ooh, I have nothing. I like it. That's the cloak of invisibility from Harry Potter. What else you got? Nothing. Oh. You know what that means? You, you get to buy, buy stuff. stuff, I knew it. Okay. Okay. Or you do have some stuff that could go in there over here, don't yeah. you? Like what about that Mod Podge stuff and the paints? Well, I tried to put that in the farthest point of the room where the kids, kids would can't be like, get it. Oh yay, mom has finger paint. Let's no. paint, yes. So ideally I probably need to get one of these so they can't even see the paint. I mean I could put stuff like this. Like I have lots of little ribbons. Oh that could you know go what? in there, yeah, let's do that. Right now. Boom. You just saw that happen in real time, folks. Organizational. <laughs> like these are magazine holders, and I just filled them with party stuff. You guys, I love to throw parties. My name is Rod, and I like to party. This one has all different tissue papers, like this reused tissue paper from last year. But if it's a cute one, you keep it, you, you reuse it. it. Yes, it's really smart, it's frugal. These are all of my cello bags. I love different bags. Cello bags. Now, guys, that's short for cellophane. If you're not in the crafting, these no. Are, uh, lips. <laughs> So then I got these big ones that just like hide all the little stuff. So this one has like most of my ribbon and I have a lot of tool. I love that stuff. What? Tool. I thought you were talking about you married a tool. Well, I did marry a tool. And this <laughs> is where I put my tools, honey. Okay. Those are things that you build stuff with. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like the bangy thing that we use no, to build this. Tool. The twisty T -U -L -L -E, thing. T-U-L-L-E. Oh, okay. <laughs> these are all of my banners. I have a lot of banners. I bought this cute little gold thing, but I Love it. One of my favorite things. Nothing to put in it. For it. It's really cute. This is random party decor. Nobody parties but me. And some cute decorations, some yes, cute decor. Yes, these things that you guys might remember from Brandon's parents' theme night. This yep. was last year's and two years ago. Yep. Then up here, I have my Cricut. <laughs> And to show you how big of an organizational nerd I am, I bought oh, this. Oh, all your Cricut cartridges and yes, keyboards. has all of my Cricut cartridges. I want you to know I haven't used this in several years. Dead serious, that's been sitting right this there just like that. This is the next thing to go on KSL. <laughs> it looks nice, looks like I'm crafty. Plan on getting like a cute little gold lamp. I'm excited, you could like sew I here, like do crafts. Things. You guys, I do, I have my sewing machine sitting right here. We're selling this. Yes, I already have a buyer for it. One of our subscribers, Amy, she's a good friend of ours and she, she can take that bad boy home. Nice piece of furniture, actually. It's well, very heavy. Well, she has a really cool shop. It's called Renew and Redo that she redoes furniture. Oh, so, how perfect is that? You guys should check her out on Instagram. Be interested to see how that looks when she's done with it. So this is a huge table. I'm super excited to be able to just do whatever. Love it, Mom. You did a great job with this area. Thank you. I'm very <laughs> excited about it. All right, guys. As long as we are doing updates and progress updates down here in the basement, we wanted to show you guys the bathroom and show you that nothing has changed, you guys. Exact same as it was the last time we showed you. That's why we haven't been bringing you any updates because there's nothing to update you on. We need to repaint the walls, but what we're waiting on is the vanity. You guys know we had a little fiasco. We had a vanity delivered. There were some problems with it. We had a return. We've ordered another one and it's coming. This Friday it should come and as soon as this comes, we'll put the toilet in. We're going to do some floating shelves. We'll get the baseboards up. Baseboards. We'll get it all done, but the real all. big thing that we're waiting on is the vanity. Mom did, however, pick up. I found this at Costco. This was on coupon for $5 off, so it made it like $24.99. Two different towel racks, another towel rack. Everything you need. Yeah. So that's the update on the bathroom. Not much to tell you about. I'm sitting here. Hey, down this, this time. is the trick. He just needs to sit next to <laughs> I me. I sit and you stand. That's is actually perfect. This is our <laughs> this new thing. This is actually perfect. <laughs> we are gonna sign off for today, but you guys, I had so much fun making that new recipe. I feel like I've given niche. you guys a, like a really good recipe in a long time. Is it gonna be on the blog this time? I am gonna go put two on the blog. <laughs> I am terrible at this. I'm not really bad with follow through, so I'm gonna put on the banana bread recipe and the banana. Ooh, double banana. banana. We've had fun today. It's been a nice Sunday. Check us out tomorrow. We're gonna go shopping. He's gonna go shopping. We're gonna hang out together as a family. Oh, you guys, can we show him those slippers tomorrow? 
Oh my gosh. Okay, if you tune in for one thing tomorrow, it's to see Hazy's new princess My slippers. mom bought a Hazy. They're not slippers, they're shoes. They're, they're like literally they're like, like high borderline heels. glass slippers and she walks level. around like a princess. Welcome to all of our new subscribers. Yes, welcome to the family. Thank uh, you for joining us. We are us. so happy to have you. Thank you so much for following our family and for loving and supporting us. We are gonna go to bed now. Well, he's gonna go edit. And but. she's gonna do laundry or something. We never go to bed. That's the trick. Just don't sleep. Right, we love you guys. You guys, we love you. See you tomorrow. See you.